What's going on guys, just real quick, if you're new to the channel, then welcome, my name is Luizzi, and if while you're watching my content you start to enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe, as it would really help this video get pushed out to more people who may also need help. And also feel free to join my Discord server, link in the description, but anywho, as you have seen from the title of this video, you already know what this is gonna be about. Now the main idea for this video actually came from someone who had previously commented in one of my videos, which basically said, hi, could you do a video on places to fish that give you rare fish and do cost a lot and yeah with that being said let's get started so i do want to start off by saying that if in case you are watching this video as a beginner meaning that you are around levels 1 through 20 then keep in mind you won't really make as much money from fishing and i do touch base on the reasoning behind this in one of my past videos which you guys can actually feel free to check out but basically it's the simple fact that when you're new to this game you may not have enough money to upgrade your rod and so therefore you have a much lower chance to catch some good rarity fish that will sell for somewhat big money and the reason why i talk about money is because that's what the comment was interested in fish that cost a lot now, i'm not saying it's not possible to catch a good rarity fish as a low level because i have seen some beginner players catch some good rarity fish but it will certainly be a bit trickier when you're just starting out and have zero upgrades on your rod so i'm about to tell you a piece of advice that you could use as a strategy for yourself in order to get yourself in the right spot and ready to fish. Now, before I tell you, do keep in mind that this is simply a little tip for in case you want to go the try hard mode in this game. Because in reality, you can slowly make your way up in whichever way you want to go about it. It's all completely up to you. But basically, if you are around levels 1 through 29, I'd say you should focus on hunting first as much as you can, only if you're able to. Now, when I say only if you're able to, it's just because in some scenarios, some people sometimes aren't able to find someone to take them hunting so i do completely understand that you're not always going to be able to go hunting and you may even be wondering well why would i want to go hunting in the first place what if i'm more into fishing instead of hunting why should i hunt until level 29 what's up with level 30 then well i'll answer those questions for you number one the reason why it's suggest for you to hunt first while you are in between levels 1 through 29 is because hunting will get you more money than fishing and why does money matter so much well because you can use this money to upgrade your rod and stuff like that that can help you out for fishing as for the second question that i will be answering first of all i do have to say that i completely understand if you prefer to fish instead of hunting because realistically the game itself is called fishing simulator not hunting simulator or something and there are a ton of different kinds of fishes out there that you can collect and sometimes the game even releases limited time fish based on certain events that you can collect such as easter valentine's day christmas season i mean why wouldn't you enjoy fishing if you're able to get all these different kinds of fish but as for this strategy the way i see it is you'd only be hunting temporarily just for the sake of making enough money to be able to buy yourself some more rod upgrades or maybe buy yourself a boat such as the yacht which does come with a specialty that you can upgrade which basically gives you a higher chance of catching a higher rarity fish while on this boat or anyone that stands on this boat really it's simply a way of helping you out on your fishing journey it's sort of like a boost of help now for question number three as far as only hunting into level 29 the reason why i mentioned this specific level is because once you hit level 30 you unlock this island called ancient shores <clears throat> my voice is kind of tired guys it's like 7 a.m for me it's about to be 8 a.m please leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it, it would really mean a lot this island is very overpowered in terms of fishing i'd say it's literally like the only island i typically like to fish at other than the monsters barrel area which i will talk about that area in a moment but once you unlock this area you'll be able to catch some good rarity fish that do cost a lot you don't really have to hunt anymore to make more money you can just purely focus on fishing from here and on and it doesn't only give you big money it also gives you big xp so if you really want to level up like a lot more you could just grind here in ancient shores and you'll be good to go all right one thing i do want to explain to you is what exactly each upgrade does so the hook speed determines how fast the fish will basically cling on to your fishing hook as you guys have seen from the tutorial whenever you see bubbles show up on your screen it means a fish has successfully cleaned onto your fishing hook and you are then ready to begin reeling the fish in now the reeling speed 
determines how fast you actually pull out the fish out of the water. And for the strength, the higher the strength, the more stable the white bar will be while you're trying to reel the fish out of the water. Sometimes you may notice that when you're in the process of catching a really good fish, the white line is going to be shaky like like super crazy like everywhere. By upgrading the strength, this will help stabilize the white line so that it doesn't move as much. It's not like too shaking. You're able to keep the fish. Now, in terms of which upgrade you should buy the most for your rod, my biggest suggestion would have to be the reeling speed. Now, the reason why I say this is because this will save you more time. When you're out there trying to find a good fish, or maybe let's say you do find a good fish, and by upgrading the reeling speed, you'll be able to pull out that fish in a much quicker manner. As you can see from this example right here, on the left side, you'll see me reeling a fish with my reeling speed maxed out as compared to on the right side where my reeling speed is not upgraded at all. Think of it this way, you're fishing with a group of friends and you really want to show your friends the cool fish that you're currently reeling in but it's just taking forever and you just want to hurry up and show them or even get to see the fish yourself. Upgrading the reeling speed will help you out with that. Now the second upgrade I believe you should focus on is the strength because I've seen many cases in which some people have seemed to have caught a high rarity fish or not like caught but like they're in the process of reeling the fish in but because the white line is super unstable and going crazy they sometimes lose the fish so if you were to upgrade the strength this will help you stabilize the white line and in turn help you catch a good fish without running the risk of losing it now the third upgrade of course would be the hook speed because to me it personally doesn't really matter as much to me uh, if my reeling speed is already nicely upgraded, I won't really have to worry about how long it'll take for a fish to get cleaned onto my hook. And last but not least, rarity chance. Now, rarity chance, it's within the name itself. The higher this is upgraded, the higher of a chance you have to catch a higher rarity fish. Now, this of course does require gems, and perhaps I can make a video later on about this, about the ways on how to get more gems, but just let me know down in the comment section if you'd like to see a video on that, and I'd be more than happy to make one. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, my top favorite spots to fish. First, it's gonna have to be Monster's Barrow. You can press the M key on your keyboard if you're on PC to open your map and you're able to locate this area within Monsters Burrow. Or if you're on mobile, you can simply tap the map on the right side of your screen. Now, if you stand anywhere on these rocks, I think it's a very nice place to fish. This area is actually an area I enjoy fishing at. Um, another area would be right here as well. Now, the reason why I mentioned Monsters Barrow is because um, any level is allowed here. There is no certain level requirement needed to enter and you are free to roam around this area. Now, as you have heard from the past words that I've been saying, my top spot for fishing would definitely have to be Ancient Shores. Now, more precisely, I would have to say the river itself. You have to fish within this river. You can feel free to stand on any of these logs and fish away, or stand beside the river and fish. Anything works. As long as you're fishing in the river, I think, like, it works fine. And sometimes, if you want to go an extra step further, you can also bring along a yacht or any sort of boat that helps out with um, higher rarity chance or mutation and sort of like just park right here on the side right beside the log and then you can like toss your fishing rod into the river past the log to be able to have a higher chance of catching a higher rarity fish using the specialty of your boat. Now in terms of which fish actually pay the most it would have to be the tiger fish which is a mythic type of fish and the piranha which is the type of legendary. So if you really want to level up quick by fishing this is definitely the right spot for you. Now, if in case you only want to catch tigerfish and piranhas, you can try out this little trick of seeing which fish you're gonna get first before you actually try reeling in the fish. Now, I do know a lot of people know about this trick, but for the sake of this video being called a guide, I'll be showing you guys how it's done. And it's very simple to do. However, I am not quite sure if this works on mobile simply because I play on PC and not on mobile, but it wouldn't hurt to try. So basically, you just wanna toss your hook into the water, zoom out, down, like below, just like a little bit until you can see your hook and from here and on you are able to see which fish cling on to your fishing hook and you are able to decide whether you want that fish or not now if you don't like the fish that you see you can just wait for another fish to pop up because i've seen a lot of people remove the rod if they don't like the fish and then tossing it back out again when in reality you don't even have to do that all you have to do is just wait for the fish to change and you're good to go but anyways there you have it guys 
These have been my tips and tricks to help you on your fishing journey as a beginner or simply if you need help with fishing, these have been my tips and tricks for you. And I do completely understand that everyone may have their own ways of doing things, but this is simply some of the ways that I see it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you enjoy my content, it would really mean a lot to me. And with that being said, my name is Luigi. <clears throat> Pursue your dreams and I'll see you in the next video. My voice is dying, guys. But whatever, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.